All right, now talk to Officer Kuprick. You again? What? Coroner, Dresden sent me over. Doesn't mean jack to me. Unless somebody radios me with an update, my orders are that nobody gets in. Nobody gets in, see? <laughs> Wait, why am I doing the, the 30s gangster voice for a cop? Chicago gangster's voice. At that, yeah. You again what, see? I need to stop doing I, I get addicted to doing that. I can't stop myself. This is a corp cop, though. Well, like I said, Lone Star is the police, is law enforcement in Seattle. Lone Star is straight. I, I just think they're Texas when I get that. I think they actually did start in Texas. Yeah, Lone Star Corporation. They are contracted to be the police of this city. So. Here's option, lie. I'm here to check the site for spectral DNA. Let's see what happens. I ain't even heard of that. What is it? You think Dresden explained it to me? That guy only talks to dead people. He just told me to scan the site. Or, listen, don't give me a hassle about this. I just need to do my job and you need to let me do it. Or, yeah, it's this brand new thing the forensic guys are using. I don't totally understand it, but it's the ectoplasmic residue of a magical attack. I need to take some ecto scans of the site. Let's see if this actually works. You think I'm stupid? I go by the book or I don't get paid. There's nothing in the book about that bulldreck. I find it weird that they've latched onto Drek uh, Yiddishism. Yeah, for sh as the equivalent of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, these shadow runners, they make me go Meshuggah with their. <laughs> alright. You again, what? You look. Alright. Long night, eh? You look cold, so I picked up a donut and some soy calf for you. Your one weakness. Hey, thanks! Officer's face lights up as he takes a sip. He seems pretty trusting for an officer of the law. You oh, know, God, food, thank you. You know, when my dad was a cop, this was back when cops worked for the government. He said folks wouldn't buy him coffee, would buy him coffee all the time. But I ain't seen it till now. So what can I do for you? Man, this guy is easily bought. <laughs> I'm actually working for the dead man to help find his killer. Can I come into the alley and look around a bit? Or my pleasure. I'm here from Infernal Eternal Affairs to review the forensic guy's work. Find anything. I'm working for the dead man. Your client is, not, is the chalk line. That's messed up, man. But I respect it, okay. You don't mess anything up. Not that anyone would likely notice, because the forensics aren't coming back. Alrighty. Oh, man, I should try that. Listen up. Amidst the shards of glass from the broken lights, you find a small piece of a glass which looks like the bottom of a test tube. Interesting. Item added in for a test tube piece. What this, is. this looks like the coat and blanket the old man was trying to get. Examine the area for evidence. As you shovel the bundle of cloth to the side, a printed receipt falls out from the folds of the blanket. It's a bar tab from the Seamstresses Union, dated two days ago at 3.02 a.m., right around the coroner's reported time of death. The customer? Sam Watts. The server's name is listed as Coyote. Pick up the coat and blankets. The work light is new. You can see that all the alley's normal lights have been ruined. Upon closer inspection, it seems they've all imploded. This is some force shattered them all at the same time. Well, remember what that dwarf lady said, and you know, big blasts of magic. Now... There are two distinct, two distinct sets of footprints. A human's, ending at the chalk outline, and a larger set, possibly orc or troll, following just behind the first. Interesting. And remember, we were told before there was some weird nervous troll with cyberware? Mm -hmm. Interesting. This is a lot bigger than the hell. Well, it's pretty. Oh big. no, it extends into a parking lot. Let's see. Should we give Williams his stuff back, or just? I think this. Yeah, with really I think stealing from the homeless. What's that? Is there really a point in stealing from the homeless? Not really. <laughs> This is, this is, this is, we're doing, we're doing a chaotic evil run of Shadowrun Returns. I think this coat and these blankets belong to you. My stuff. Mighty decent, tell you. Don't see that thing too often out here. Consarn it. Alrighty. I just love I got this little robot following me everywhere. Number five is alive! Now, okay, let's, let's look up this coyote, this mysterious coyote. Shall we? I 
Got some karma now. Fine. Karma is an interesting choice for the word from stat points. Yeah. I suppose realistically you can gain it no matter what you do, good or evil. The only option, the only uh, way you don't get any karma would be to not, not do at, anything. Yeah. yeah. I'll set up the hand. Alrighty. Now we can enter the Seamstress's Union. They claim to have best beer on that sign. <laughs> You're about to leave the Barons and enter the Seamstress's Union. Would you like to proceed? Now, like what, sort of like what I said about linearity. Once you go through here, you can't go back unless there's like you know a plot reason for it. Well, that sucks. It is kind of disappointing. I mean, they're really once you've done all the question area, there's really no reason to go back. But yeah, it is. It is cut more linear than I'd like. Although it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers some. All right. Seamstress Union. Relative to the rest of the barons, Taurusville is a neon, neon-clothed neon oasis. At its heart is the Seamstress's Union. Housed in an old brownstone building on the corner of Illegal and Opportunity, bums huddle together, gangers strut the streets, and the occasional salary man comes slumming. The Union building has been retrofitted, rebuilt, and restored so many times that it's like an aging starlet wearing too much makeup in an attempt to stay young. The wild ivy growing out of the gutters adds to this effect. As you enter... A murmur of hushed conversation washes over you. The dive bar denizens raise their heads, take your measure, and then go back to their business. This is the kind of place where everybody knows your name but keeps to themselves. Okay. Oh, new, two new karma names. Objective, find and question Coyote. A couple of people at the bar. Eric Mersman. It makes sense in, in the in the setting, but it's kind of funny to see like a giant troll whose name is just Eric Mervisman or whatever. And Cherry Bomb. Possibly not her real name. <laughs> she would... <coughs> Cherry Bomb. The bartender is a striking elf, <coughs> sporting a perfectly toned body, perfectly pouty lips, and perfectly tapered ears. Her eyes harmonize, save me and take me in equal measure. Hitting just the right notes for the maximum extraction of tips. There's a joke about tips here I could make that I want. Hey there. I haven't seen you here before. What can I get you? Um. Something dirty in a clean glass. Ooh, a hard case. I like that. Okay, hard case. So get you something stiff. There's another joke I could make here but won't. She starts to turn away when a man with the face of a survivor and the zeal of a convert tugs at her arm. Hard. It's clear the two have a history. They try to keep their voices low, but the intensity of their conversation makes them easy to overhear. Shane. Cherry, you have to listen to me. If you stick around here, you could end up dead or worse. The Ripper is out there, and he's real. The last killing happened just down the block. And now Coyote's missing. I'll probably find her tomorrow in a dumpster without her head. Come on, Cherry Bomb, think. I think plenty, Shane. I'm getting a PH freaking D from UW in neuroprosthetics, studying under o Oyamans, Ojamans. Again with the, my last thing, my thing with the last names. It's a, a plague. How am I paying for it? Bartending. Tips. There are faster ways for a baron's girl to earn that kind of scratch, but I'm not taking them. So what do you want from me? I, 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 I kind of imagine her as some, like, fast-talking 30s movie dame, you know? There are plenty of faster ways for a baron's girl to earn that kind of scratch, but I'm not taking them, see? And now I'm turning, into, I'm turning into Edward G. Robinson again. Everything goes back to him. I want what you want. A better life. A better world for everyone. The Universal Brotherhood can give you that. Heard all this before. I've heard this all before. This isn't some trick to get us back together. Things are different now. I'm different now. The Brotherhood. Cherry Bomb's pretty face is hard. Armored in lipstick and low expectations. The Universal Brotherhood is for other people, Shane. Rich Bellevue types who can afford their membership fees and voluntary donations. This isn't about money. It's about binding the world together in Brotherhood. Come with me. Attend a discovery meeting. Get to the core of who you are. 
I heard Lynn Tere I heard Lynn Telestrian give a talk last night called The New Family of the Sixth World. The Sixth World is a thing is a thing I'll explain later. I've got a family right here, Shane. They're drunks and lowlifes and whores, and I choose them over any of your brotherhood members. Now buzz, I need to get back to work. Body language that leaves no question the conversation is over. Cherry Bombs turns her Cherry Bomb turns her back on him. Are those headphones or just earmuffs? Um I think they're headphones. That would make more sense, I suppose. It could honestly be either. Sorry, I got interrupted. Boyfriend find religion? Something. Her pretty eyes air. Something like that. Universal Brotherhood. They they have appeared in other Shadowrun stuff. Got a look that says you're not just here for the entertainment. Are you a badge? Do I look like a cop? She flutters her eyelashes. No, baby. Looks like someone who knows the shadows. They're trained to spot a bronze the minute they walk in here. And then I can help you with it. A few questions. Ask away. Tell me about this place. Some come here for booze. Some for companionship. Others are looking for something they can't get anywhere else. If it's illegal or immoral and it can be bought, sold, rented, or consumed, you can probably find it here. The Union seems to attract people like you. Hey! <laughs> Who is that you were talking to? Shane, old boyfriend. He used to work here. Then one day he saw a billboard for the Universal Brotherhood, and that was that. Went to a meeting, made new friends, moved in with them. I was happy for him until he started coming around trying to recruit me. I don't need that direct. That guy mentioned Coyote. Is she here? She looks worried. No, I think she's away on business. Business, huh? she a shaman? The name like Coyote. She laughs. No. She shot a coyote once, thinking it was a shaman who double-crossed her. What? We've been calling her Coyote ever since. She's been missing for a couple of days now. Some people think the Ripper got her, but I know her. Coyote can take care of herself. Ever hear the name Sam Watts? She nods. Sam was a regular customer. A regular pain in the ass for as long as I've been here. Talked a big game, but he was always broke. As soon as he got any money in his pocket, it just went straight to his head. Chips, drugs, or booze. Coyote had a soft spot for him, though. Did you see Sam on the night he died? No, that was Coyote's shift. Who runs this place? I want to talk to him. And that'd be Mrs. Kub Kubota. She's in the back room. You can't miss her. Thanks for the intel. Appreciate the help. Got our punks have to stick together. Talk to you later. There goes Shane. Let's see. Let's see what Eric Murms me. Some bard competing lane. That's not how Coyote does it. Damn, teeth on that guy. He's, he's actually he's actually not a troll or a goblin or anything. He's just English. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh, I know. I'm never going to be invited back to the new robot geek now. I know. Hey. Hey, guys. I got some extra outfits I'm trying to unload. You want first dips? Take a look. This guy is basically your ar the armor salesman. More or less. Some outfits to unload. I have the basic secure clothing. And... All right, now they give um like you know better ar some of them give increased armor, and some of them also have other stat bonuses. Like the black hat gives one intelligence for some reason. Thaumaturgic armor gives one willpower. Uh, the tourist look. For some reason, it's, it's, it's better armor than several of the others, and gives you intelligence plus one. Secure ninja clothing. <laughs> Secure ninja clothing. Al Alley Punk, armor four. Dress one stuff above a street gang. It looks like some sort of gas mask or something. Look at that. Yeah. That or the guy from Borderlands. Oh, yeah, the, uh, yeah. Grant's HP plus three. Yeah. Well, I can buy some, I can buy later. 